Coming up tonight, Paralympian grabs top honours, New Zealand Sevens coach praises local talent, and export of fruits and vegetables to normalise soon. Good evening, I'm Michael Ranamalo. <music> Athletes with disabilities now have a reason to smile after they were recognised for their hard work and also gained support from government. The Fiji Paralympics Federation in Fiji last night were crowned winners at the annual Fiji Sports Award held in Suva. Last night was a night to remember for Fiji Paralympics after scooping top awards at the Fiji Sports Awards. Ilias and Delana scooped the Sportsman of the Year Award, beating the likes of Athletics Fiji's Glenn Cable, Fiji Taekwondo's Samir Ali, Manuel Tulo of Weightlifting Fiji, and Pita Lenoa of Karate Fiji. The winner of the title of Fiji Sportsman of the Year is Ilias Delana Fiji Paralympics Committee. Seven-year-old Ndelana competes in the F42 category high jump and is Fiji's most successful Paralympic athlete as he has qualified for this year's Paralympic Championship in London and he also won a silver medal at the World Paralympic Championship in New Zealand last year. To add to Ndelana's victory, his coach Fred Fatiaki scooped the Coach of the Year award and to top it all off, the Prime Minister had a surprise for them. There was some talk about uh, this grant, this $1,000 grant. And I thought I'd give it to a sport that I excelled in when I was a kid. I understand there's no more marble playing now, so that's out. No kite flying, so that's out. Um, but I, uh, I think I'll give it to the team that I gave to last year, Paralympics. The United States Ambassador to Fiji says the trade relations between the two countries are on the right track. Speaking at the recent U.S. Chamber of Commerce and Fiji USA Business Council annual meeting, Ambassador Frankie Reid commended the support of the Fijian government. The two-way trade last year between the two countries stood at more than 174 million U.S. dollars. Fiji's exports to the United States were an estimated 131.5 million U.S. dollars, while U.S. imports to Fiji were estimated to be around 42.6 million U.S. dollars. Ambassador Frankie Reid says the trade relations between the two countries presents an area for improvement and it's shown progress over the last several years, adding that as the Bainimarama government continues to expand its international diplomatic relationships, it also continues to strengthen the Fijian economy, empower Fijians and modernize the nation. Recently, Fiji tapped into the mahogany market in America, and Ambassador Reid drew attention to the potential of the sugar industry in the country as well. Meanwhile, recently, an indigenous Native American company won the bid to open up Fiji's first ever luxury casino and convention center. Fiji exports fruits and vegetables, sawn timber, furniture, mineral water, along with clothing and textile, and food and beverages to the United States of America. The export of locally grown fruits and vegetables, which was affected by the recent devastating floods and heavy rain, is expected to normalize in three to four months. Those were comments made by the Agriculture Officer Mba, Saidi Achari. The recent floods caused substantial damage to the agriculture sector in the Western Division, but reports have indicated that farms in the Mba district were the most affected. Agriculture Officer Mba, Saidi Achari, says about 1,100 hectares of crops valued at about $5 million were damaged by heavy rain and floods. Close to 700 hectares of farms were damaged, while yet another 400 hectares of crops were destroyed by the continuous heavy rain for three days and stagnant water in the fields. However, with the assistance provided by the Agriculture Department and with the concerted efforts of the farmers, the export of fruit and vegetables from the Western Division is expected to normalize in few months. 
Meanwhile, there is sufficient supply of some fruits and vegetables in the local markets and the roadside stalls. Ms. Achari is calling on farmers to start cultivating their land as soon as it dries up, especially for food security and local market supply. The Agriculture Department will start distributing kumala cuttings and dalo suckers to the affected farmers from next week. Coming up after the break, church group donates to flood appeal. New Zealand Sevens coach says Fiji needs to cultivate a winning culture. And Paralympian Scoops Coach of the Year Award.